Hey guys, I'm finally back with another Navy video. So this video is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be so informative. By the title you can see I'm going to be addressing some backlash that I get for, oh sorry I left something with my hand, for my Navy videos. So first of all I just want to address a couple things because I feel like my navy videos cause an uproar in the navy community that's what i was told literally guys like my video caused an uproar in the navy community so let me just break it down or what some of the things that people have been saying about the way i could present myself on youtube or this that and the third so so one thing that i constantly get is that people say that i'm not representing the uniform or the Navy in a positive way or I'm not you know being the perfect sailor or whatever the hell that is and for me to address that the way I conduct myself in this uniform in front of this camera is how I conduct myself in the ship this is how I conduct myself with the chiefs this is how I conduct myself with everybody like I'm me this is my job you know what I'm saying of course I do everything within reason I still understand you know professionalism and things of that sort good worth ethic but far as my personality the way I joke the way I speak the way I talk with my hands this is how I conduct myself like at the end of the day I feel like in the Navy community we feel like we have to put on a persona of what a sailor is and I thought it was the same way when I went to boot camp I was a before I went to boot camp or when I went to boot camp it was like I was under the impression that, you know, the Navy is super strict, super structured. Everybody is like, you know, super strict. Nobody laughs. Nobody does wrong. Everything. This is the, you know, it's only 1% that joins. So I'm thinking this is the elite of what America has to offer. Now, once you leave boot camp, you'll run into people like me. And you'll run into a lot of other people that you would not expect to be in the military. So a point of that I want to get with my videos is that I want people to understand that people in the military are not these robot, super G. Joe, perfect, always on point sailors. Most of the majority of the people honestly in the Navy are extremely slow. When I mean slow, I mean lack of common sense. They're extremely weird and strange or socially awkward or something like that. Or it's a full of bunch of thugs that didn't have a choice to join. It was like go to jail, die, or go to the military. So they went to the military. Or it's full of a bunch of people who weren't born in the United States. So they joined the military to, you know, get whatever they need to be a United States citizen. These are when you really get into the military. These are the type of people who are in the military. Or they're, they're full of people who are extremely patriotic and they join because they want to serve their country and represent their country in a positive light but everybody isn't I don't know how to explain this guys where you guys get it but it's like the Navy is not full of the super sharp intelligent like everybody's not like that and that's one thing that I want to get I'm not saying that nobody in the military is like that but I'm saying everyone isn't like that and for someone like me or anyone else who doesn't have military family ever really been around military it can be a culture shock joining the military and realizing, wow, why is there so many gangsters and gangbangers in here? Wow, these people are extremely socially awkward and don't have the best social skills to communicate with others efficiently. Wow, I wouldn't think that these type of people would join the military. I thought this would be the sharpest, most on point people. And it's not like that. So some may say that I am ignorant for thinking that way or thinking that the military would be so organized, efficient, and intelligent and strict. But that's just as a civilian becoming a military member, that's what I thought. That everybody was just going to be like, like, you know, this is the United States government military. These are the people that are supposed to protect civilians. So I would think that these are the top smartest people or, you know, sharpest people that we have. So it's not like that <laughs> so that's one thing that I get so people you know look at me and they're just like you know this is how you conduct yourself but yes when you get on a ship you're gonna be see all kind of people like me all kind of people like literally so 
I'm a prime example of not everybody is just Hey, how's it going? Welcome to United States Navy. Today we're here to serve. Like, not everybody's like that. Most people on the ship is like, hey, what's up? What the F you doing? Like, literally, that's how they talk to you. So I want to get people prepared to know that the perception of people in the military is not what you think. It's a very different type of mix. Another thing that I've been getting on here is a lot of people like to come on my videos and tell me what's in regulations, what's in not regulations. My bun ain't tight enough. My nails is too long. Woo, wah, 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 For one, to address that, yes, I understand that I am technically a 24-hour sailor, which means that I am representing the Navy all the time. But, as I just said in that whole spill, that I am by no means the perfect sailor. I am no, by no means, sailor of the year or, you know, the poster child for... The United States Navy. All I do is come on here and share you guys my experiences not what's fact everything that I do say in my videos is not 100% fact it's just what I have experienced and what I have seen so far in my naval career. So I just come on here tell you guys my perception my opinion and my experience in the Navy. So so am I the poster child for the Navy? No I wouldn't think so. I really don't think I'm not your ideal sailor. I don't know everything about the Navy. I'm not on. I'm not that girl. And if you haven't figured that out by watching my videos, then come on now. You can clearly see I'm not, you know, I'm just not that girl. I'm not G.I. Joe Sailor of the Year. I'm just not her. So when people come and say like, oh, your nails are too long. My nails, I've never been told that my nails are too long or that they were out of regs. When I did have white nails, because I know in some of my videos I have white nails, people are like, your nails are out of regs. I had white nails before the new instruction came out. So when I was having white nails, that was before the instruction came out. Because I don't know if that was a worldwide Navy instruction, but I know at my command it was okay. And then later on they made a instruction about white nails. So at my command, white nails were okay for the time that I had white nails. So don't be mad because y'all come in and didn't let you have white nails because mine did. But clearly I can't have them anymore because they made a, a, a new instruction about what color nails that they allow now. So that's one thing. Another reason why I come on here looking how I do is because, like I said, I'm not the poster stamp for the Navy. All I can tell you is what Ashley Apollo do and what I do and how I conduct myself. And me, I'm a girly girl. So... Yes, I have nails, and I want girls to know that not everybody in the Navy is walking around with Bob the Builder hands. You can still be pretty, you can still girl, be girly. Of course, you can't have, you know, long nails, but you can still have a little to make you feel feminine and pretty because, you know, you want to feel cute. Yes, you can wear makeup and look cute and look pretty and feel nice. So when people are like, all up on me about my nails and my makeup or whatever it's like you could still be the baddest sailor in the room and I'm a prime example of that like that's what I represent I represent the odd portion of the Navy and that's why I'm on here because I know when I joined I was a girly girl and I didn't have anybody to tell me the truth or the the cons about the Navy it was just you know you get free school and free this no one told me that yeah, you get free school, but you know, not immediately. You have to prove yourself and work your way up first. Oh, okay. Not saying that it's a problem that we don't be able to start school immediately. But this that's information that someone who's about to sign four to five years of their life away, this is information that I feel people should know. And people are upset at me or like on my comments like, what did you expect the Navy to be? I expected the Navy to be extremely organized, extremely professional, extremely um intelligent elite crisp clean all those things so that's why i'm making these videos to let people know how it really works no by any means that i'll come on here to bash the navy i think the navy is a great opportunity for some people it's a wonderful experience it's really nothing like it like there's no experience you can compare to the navy or there's no job that's going to give you the experience that the navy can give you but I'm just here to let you know, like, everything is not all glitz and glams and free health and free dental and traveling. It's not like that all the time. Sometimes you have to go clean the birthing and clean up other people's tampons, pads, and poop. 
No, they don't tell you that, but sometimes you're going to have to do that. Sometimes you're going to have to be at work all day doing nothing and then when it's time to get off, that's when your boss tells you, hey, we actually have a whole work list that we need to complete. The Navy's like that sometimes. It's not always just... It's not like that. And then some background on me. I come from a suburb home two parents spoiled as hell so you have to kind of understand me I'm a spoiled girly girl who's never shared I've never had to share a room in my life since the time I was born I've always had my own room so for me going to that to having to share my room with one to four plus females it's extremely different for me that's why I say the Navy can be a great experience for some but because of my background story it kind of me and the Navy kind of clash a little bit not saying the Navy is horrible it's just not my dream job clearly but I still encourage people if you want to join please join don't let anybody talk you out of it I just want to make sure that everybody has all the facts before you join because like I said you're signing four to five years of your life away so you want to make sure you're what you're getting into a lot of people will get mad at me when I say like when I say the pay is only like around eight hundred dollars and they're like for a 18 year old coming in that's a lot of money that's enough you have no bills and no cars for me I'm 20 years old I only have a car note insurance cell phone bill and pay off the little bit on my credit card that's all I have but you not everybody joins the military at 18 or 19 or 20. There are some people who join at 24 with school loans, car debt, credit card debt, child support, who have real responsibilities, children, people who are depending on them. So I want to let people know for those people when you come in it's not going to be you know 2000 a check or whatever it is your recruiter told you. Coming in you're going to make between from 700 to around 800 high 800 every two weeks if you are not married so that's something that someone who's you know more mature in life or has more responsibilities they want they should be aware of just in case they think that they're gonna you know come in and be able to clear all their student loans off within six months it's not gonna be quite that way or it's not gonna be that great now what I will say the perks about being in the military or in the Navy I would say is that when you go on a deployment you're on a ship for you know six to seven months so you're not able to spend a lot of money which gives you the opportunity to save now I know when I was joining my recruiter told me this is exactly what he told me you go on the deployment and you come back with forty thousand dollars that's what I was told so I'm thinking oh wow for a deployment they pay you that much to you know go on the ship no you can save about that much they do offer C pay and things like that or ship pay when you're on a ship you do get paid a little bit extra for those who are not on the ship so you do get paid a little bit more if you are stationed on the ship or something like that but it's not like you're coming off of each deployment with twenty thousand dollars you can come off with a deployment with that much if you save your money which is easy because when you're on a ship for that long you can't go anywhere you can't spend any money so it's very easy to be able to not see your check or not pay attention to your check because you're just working every day and you're not out spending money in town so it makes it easy to save that amount of money but you're not getting paid off the bat that if that makes sense so yes it's a great opportunity to save money going on deployment is a great 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 opportunity to save money save money guys save money because you can make a lot of money if you save your money on deployment and what inspired me to make you know YouTube videos about the Navy in my experiences because I know when I was joining I didn't see a lot of people who look like me act like me on YouTube letting me know everybody was just like oh it's great it's great it's great and with any job there are pros but there are cons so there's not a lot of people telling the true raw cons of this job in this career choice so like I said I represent my experience my truth anything that I do say about the Navy in my videos is once again my experience my opinion what I've countered what I've seen Mind you, I've only been on one ship. I've only been to two commands. So, I've, you know, I can't tell you how they're running stuff in Spain or Bahrain. I've been to Japan and San Diego and Virginia and Chicago. 
So that's how I can tell you how they work around there. Not by any means am I speaking for every CSA school. Like, I'm not speaking for every ship or how every ship operates with CSS. I'm speaking from what my knowledge is. Your ship may be different. Your experience may be may be different and that's another great thing about the Navy is no experience are the same. Yes, you know, majority the baseline is the same, but everybody encounters different people. You encounter a different chain of command, a different ship. So everything is not going to be exactly what I'm saying. So don't take what I'm saying is Ashley Apollo on YouTube said this is how it's going to be. This is how it was for me. This is what I experienced. So please please and then another thing a lot of people comment under my video like what did you expect out of the Navy or what did you expect being a CS there are some people on here and I feel like that's such selfish thinking because there are some people ask yourself before you join the military and if you had no military family around you no didn't know anyone in the military you don't know what to expect from the United States military you don't know what exactly half of the world thinks that we're out shooting AK-47s and chasing down Al-Qaeda and ISIS all day. Are we doing that? For my people who are in the military watching my videos, are we really doing that all day? Are we really in the mid middle of the ocean blowing up Chinese ships all day every day? No. There are some slow days where you're literally on the flight deck sweeping water off the top of the ship all day. There are some days where it's like that. There are some days where you're really just there's nothing really to do. You just doing your regular stuff. There are some days where it's just a slow day. So for people who are saying, what do you expect? For civilians who have no knowledge about this, they don't know what exactly to expect. Half of them think it's going to be yelling and strict and it's super conformed all the time. And it's really not like that. When you get on the ship, there are normal people who you laugh with, you joke with. Everybody's not uptight trying to salute the flag all day. Like, it's not like that. And there's some people who really have the perception that people in the military are freaking robots. Or people in the military, all we want to do is, like, buy a Camaro. That's not the case. I bought a Honda. You see? <laughs> it's different. So I'm like, for those people who say, what do you expect? There are some people, that's why you make these videos to help people expect something. Or have some type of knowledge because I know when I was joining I didn't know exactly what to expect before I met with the recruiter I thought the Navy was like I thought boot camp was like they drown you and you have to try to break out and little do I know that's actually becoming you you know a Navy SEAL or something like it's different strokes for everybody different strokes for different folks like so I'm here to inform on my experience and what I know so I just wanted to address that because a lot of people come under my comments with all this foolishness and I really don't want to have to start squeaking on y'all because I'm really with that and I'm really on all that and I'm just here to let y'all know like I'm a regular person at the end of the day I take this off and I'm a regular person or at the end of the day when you get out of the military you no longer have your rank in whatever you did in the military to hold you I can't get out of the military and go walk around and say Oh, you know, I was a chief in the Navy. Do this. Nobody's going to listen to you. So I just need everybody to understand that this is a job. This is my job. Like a job. It's just a job. You have supervisors, bosses. They're called, you know, second class is chiefs. But that's what I... Supervisors, bosses. You get paid. You do your work. Whatever. It has benefits. The Navy's not the only job in the world with benefits. Like, it's a job. Do your job correctly do what you're asked of, be professional, and that's that. It's not like, I don't know. That's just me. I don't view the Navy as a lifestyle or this is my life. Moral of the story, guys. I am here to represent me and who I am, my experiences, my opinions, and my advice. If you don't like it, please just don't comment. You can watch, but just don't comment with that negative stuff or what you think or how, what you think I got to say. I'm not saying what I'm saying is fact. It's just my opinion, what I have experienced so far in my two years in the Navy. And that's that. I'm here to help others because I know when I joined, all I got told was I was going to travel the world, make $40,000 and start school immediately. And that wasn't the case for me. Okay, so I'm just letting you know. Thank you. So at the end of the day, I'm simply here to help. 
so if anybody and I help so many people and that's the crazy thing I have helped so many people I get so many DMs or so many messages on like Twitter and Instagram snapchat where people be like hey I watched your video I'm trying to dep in or I have this or can you tell me more about a school or it's like I'm so 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 grateful for the people who watch me and care about what I have to say or feel like asking me my opinion it's really so so humbling and I thank you guys so much for watching and I want to continue to help you guys so if you have any questions about the military please go ahead and follow or hit me up on my social medias they'll be down below in the description box but yes if anyone comes to me I always encourage people if you want to join join go for it I'm gonna if I can help you in any way join or help you study for your asthma whatever I can do girl let's do it or boy let's do it you know I'm here to help you guys give you guys information and just my thoughts and just by and then also don't like ask me and then take my word like ask me your recruiters or anyone else on YouTube or anyone else that you know in the Navy to get all the facts that you need before you join because that's literally all I'm here for is to give people all the facts or all the skills, all the tools that they need before they join. So you can have a successful Navy career, a smooth process. And yeah, so go ahead and like, subscribe, comment down below. Nice things only, please. Only comment nice things. Because if you comment something mean, I'm just going to remove it. Because ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So yes, so I'll try to make more Navy videos, but that's the reason why I've kind of been hesitant on Navy videos because everybody got so much to say about little old me. But I noticed that there's more people loving me and asking for my help than the people who are being mean. So I'm going to keep, you know, giving you guys more tips and information about the Navy. So if you have any more questions or any videos that you want to see about the Navy or any topics that you want me to cover, whether it's living on a ship, this, that, or the third, please go ahead and comment down and I'll try to make that video as soon as possible. So yeah, see you guys next time.